Implants are a very versatile technology that can be used for many different things. And uh, right now it's very convenient to have a COVID passport always accessible on your implant. All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call him La Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kakodash. <coughs> Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, I want to say, Shalom to Anki out there that's pushing the truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kakodash. Okay, so, um, what you just witnessed, as you know, the video you just seen, you know, uh, hey, there it is, you know, the MOTB, you know, and that was uh, <clears throat> that was out there in uh, in uh, Sweden, okay, and uh, as you can see, you know, that he had the MOTB inside of his uh, his flesh, okay, and um, this soon will be coming to Babylon, okay, because because prophecy says so. You know, it says that, um, uh, well, actually, let me get it real quick. All right. Prophecy says so. Now, within the video, you know, there is a, a certain point that I wanted to uh, to expound on because, you know, uh, in the video it said that it was reversible to take out. But either if so, so but either if you can't take it out, it doesn't matter because you received the MOTB. As as the as the excuse me as the scriptures say, okay. So the uh, MOTB is soon <clears throat> gonna come to a city near you in Babylon. Okay, people already got them here in Babylon, you know, but it's not, you know, mandatory. It's not, it, you know, it's it, it, it hasn't come to a point where you need it, you know, to buy and sell. Okay. So this is the Book of Revelation thirteen. And uh, verse, actually, let me get this. I'll get this next. Let me get this one first. Revelation 3, let's start here in verse 10. Okay, it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Okay. And the hour of temptation is when Esau Edom is going to come down hard, you know, with that uh, MOTB. Okay. And the word temptation, you know, really it, it, it means the uh, enticement to sin. All right. And Esau, you know, he is, you know, Esau uses the flesh, you know, to, uh, to, uh, allure you, you know, to, to sin, you know, he, you know, Esau is going to use, you know, this MOTB, you know, to get you to go off, you know, he's going to, uh, deceive the world to get them to take this, this MOTB. You know, as the brother Marar in our camp says, you know, Satan's wedding ring. Okay. Let's continue on. It says, which it says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell in the earth. Excuse me, that dwell upon the earth. And the word try, it goes into the, the word. Um, let me just double check. It goes into the word uh, para, or excuse me, uh, parazo. And, and the word parazo goes into the word para, uh, which means through the idea of piercing. OK. And once, you know, something is, is, is you know, is pierced, you know, it it uh, pierces somebody's flesh. Right. So through the idea of, 
you know, people getting the MOTB of having, you know, their flesh pierced. OK, the the enticement, you know, to sin and the and the, and the sin is what? Take it the MOTB, because if you take the MOTB, OK, um, a then you have gained, you know, a front row seat into the lake of fire. OK, so let's, let's head back to Revelation 13 and verse 16. OK. And it says, and he calls it all, okay? And he is talking about the elite of the nation of Edom, the wicked elite, okay? Because they're, you know, they're the, uh, they're the ones pulling the strings right now, okay? They're the ones that have, you know, the, uh, uh, the you know, the whole world in their hands right now in this moment in time because, you know, the Lord gave them the fatness of the earth. The Lord blessed them with the sword. You know, they have to you know the dew of heaven. They got it all right now. You know, because they're the God of this world. Okay, the Lord set Esau Edom up in these last days to be, you know, to be, you know, the king of the earth at this present time. Okay, and it says, and he calls it all. Okay, both both small and great, right? Whether you're a child or an adult, rich and poor. Okay, whether you, you know, blue collar, white collar, you know, whether you Work, work, you know, work, a work a regular nine to five, or you you have a a set salary, okay. Either or, he saw his goal is to have everybody, you know, implanted, all right. And it says free and bond, right? Whether you're out here in the so-called free world, okay, or whether you locked up in jail or in prison, it says to receive a mark, and their right hand, or in their foreheads, okay. And 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 this is what. John, the revelator, saw in his vision. He's seen people buying and selling. He's seen people getting pierced. Okay. Verse 17, it says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right. So, so right here, going back to the video. All right. Now, this particular case in point, it says that uh, this uh, CHIP can hold your, uh, you know, your Maxine status on it. And this is back in December in 20, of 2021 back in Sweden. OK. And, um, you know, which that's not that's not long ago. OK. But but just know that, you know, people getting, you know, c hipped is going to be the norm very, very soon. All right. Now, let's fast forward. Now, I'm pretty sure, you know, you already watched the video. You know, I'm just doing, you know, a little commentary on it. On the video. Now, there's a point where it says. Let me see right here. Now, it says. Um, I'm going to read the video. I'm going to read the uh, the line right here. It says epicenter claims the procedure is is, quote unquote, completely reversible, in which hey, it could be. Listen, reverse or not. You you took it. All right. Doesn't matter if it's reverse, bro, or not. You took it. OK. And that's one thing, too. You got to watch out for Esau's deception. Watch out for Esau's plays on words because, you know, it says that. Let me get it real quick. This is what it says about this damn demon. <laughs> this devil. The devil. All right. This is. um. Let's see. Yep, this is uh, Job 20 and verse 12. And it says, Job 20 is, a, is an amazing chapter, by the way. All right. But real quick, this is Job 20 and verse 12. And it says, though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue. You see, wickedness be sweet in his mouth, man, but he hide it under his tongue. So he can tell you something that that sounds amazing. It sounds out of this world, you know, something that you never heard before. But his intentions are evil. OK, the scriptures call this man the evil one. He's the evil man. He's the he's the vessel of dishonor. So, of course, he's going to tell you, you know, you, you know, it's reversible. You know, you can take it out. But hell no, man, it don't matter. It, it don't matter if you can take it out or not. 
you, you, you received it, okay? The scriptures say that he that receives the mark, okay? He that receives the mark, all right? It don't say if you receive the mark and then take it out, then you're good. No, you you uh, uh you bow down to to uh to Esau, ultimately to Satan, really, and you and and you took that. You know, you doing that, you are bowing bowing down to Satan, and you are you are basically uh making a covenant with Esau and Satan, man, because Esau is uh the counterpart of really you know really really Esau is the, the he's the seed of the uh the seed of the wicked. And this dude is the counterpart of Satan here on the earth, the physical counterpart. Okay, this dude, this dude is a, a spawn of Satan, as one would say, as you damn crazy ass Christians say. Okay. So yeah, man, this um, you know this this uh privacy is soon you know soon gonna come to pass, soon gonna manifest. Okay, and 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 and, and whatever you do, man, do not take this MOTB. Do not, I repeat, do not take the mark of the beast. Because if you do, okay, I'll get it for you. This is what's going to happen. Revelation 14 and verse 9. All right. I'll start verse 8 and it says, And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Right, man. You know, this uh, this whore has spread her legs, uh, you know, across the whole known world and has, you know, uh, slept with every other nation, you know, and, and has spread her wine, you know, her and, and her wine is what her teachings, you know, the doctrines, ultimately the westernizations. OK, and, and have. You know, uh, made all these made the earth drunken, made 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 these nations drunken of of the wine of her fornication. Okay. She has tainted everything, man. Verse nine, it says, and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark, okay, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the saying shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And what's that? The thermonuclear destruction, the thermonuclear missiles. Okay. The arrows that, 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 uh, that is talked about in the book of second edges, the 16th chapter. Okay. The nuclear arrows. And it says, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. Right. Just like back in Sodom and Gomorrah, because, uh, Babylon is Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. Well, Babylon's America, but this is Sod a spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? And that's and just like how Sodom and Gomorrah got overthrown with fire and brimstone. That's gonna be the same exact way, you know, that Babylon gets, you know, um, overthrown, according to the Holy Bible, okay? And it says, in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb. You see, so yeah, man, don't take that, okay? Because if you do, that's this is gonna be your your uh your uh your fate. OK, verse 11, and it says and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night. Who worship the beast in his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. So don't so don't don't bow down to this, man. That's why the scriptures say that the Lord has uh, has uh, chosen a, uh, an elect remnant that, that does not bow down the uh, the knee to the image of Baal. OK. The elect are not gonna, you know, conform or, nor bow down to to the ways of 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 Esau's new world order, okay? Because ultimately, you know, the cherry on top for Esau, you know, to uh, attempt to gain complete dominance of, of everybody, you know, is is through that MOTB, you know, because this dude think that he is the Most High, but not knowing that you know pride is one heavy is one heavy drug, all right. And pride and pride has blinded this dude. That's why pride goes before destruction, because there is one true God, and that's Yahweh Shema Shai. Okay, Esau is just nothing but a mortal as man. Just like the scene in the Wizard of Oz. You know, everybody think that the Oz is some great, you know, wonderful and powerful God, but whole time it's a um it's a little as Edomite man behind a curtain, you know. 
So yeah, you know, I just wanted to put that on wax, you know, because I seen the video, you know, I, I, you know, I was just gonna, you know, uh, put that little clip up and upload that, but I seen that it said that you know, you know that 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 it's reversible once you put it in, but it don't matter if if you can take it out or not, you still received it, you know. So I, you know, so I just wanted to expound on that matter, and Lord as well, this quick lesson was edifying to the Lord's sheep, and I just want to say, call lame la Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachakwadash. Though by honor being to the elder apostles of great millstone that do rule and teach well, and shall I went to the house of David, the hundred and forty-four thousand, the elect. With that being said, shall I want?